Fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. One Silver, there's danger on the trail ahead. Some distance off the trail that led down from the wooded hills toward Mountain City, center of the northwest fur trade, two men lay below the crest of a narrow ridge. Screened by thick brush, they lay tense and motionless. Their eyes were fixed on the narrow trail below them. And so were the two rifles that were loaded and already aimed. Over their heads, a blue jay screamed. I figure the range is about 50 feet. At that distance, we can't miss. We can put our bullets right through them. Yeah, I never did like that engine. And I won't have to. He'll be dead. Dead as a fur he'll be carrying. Say, uh, Sorel. Yeah? Where'd you find out that he'd be packing furs toward Mountain City? Oh, it's spring, ain't it? All the fur trappers bring in their catches time of year. Sure, but how did you well, know that... Well, you talk too much... It shattered worse than that blue jay up above us. All I asked was... Don't ask, Savvy. You and me are going to ambush this engine. We're going to take his furs and sell them. We'll get good cash for him, too. But how I come to know he'd be on this trail and what time and what he'd be carrying, well, that's my business. Yeah, it won't be so easy selling furs. Why not? That new town marshal is a tough hombre. <laughs> Maitland won't bother us none. He won't know where them furs come from. Kino, Sorrell. Reckon you know what you're doing, so I'll stop. I hear something. Hoofs. Yeah, walking hoofs. Must be the engine and a couple of pack horses. No sign yet. They'll be coming around the bend right soon. Shut up and tighten your trigger finger. So now. Yeah, that blue jay, we should stop it screaming. Sorrell, uh, there's a horse. Come on! Come on! In blazes, he's gone. He turned tail and headed back out of sight. Those shots warned him off. It wasn't me. I didn't squeeze the trigger. Don't be loco, I know that. But some hombre must have spotted our ambush. Come on, we got to make tracks out of here before we get cut. It must have been the marshal. I don't know, but whoever it was, I ain't stand here. Come on, burly bamboos. <laughs> Like me, I believe you. I am Siskeyo. How? How? Siskeyo, you're heading straight for an ambush. Helen and I fired those shots across your path to make you turn back. Ambush? Yes. Didn't you hear the blue jay? Ah, blue jay, him watchdog of forest. He make plenty chatter. 
that you're no trouble head. That's uh, true. You're an Indian, Siskeyou. You're used to the forest. Why didn't you hear the Blue Jay's warning? Siskeyou dream as he ride. Not pay attention. Who outlaw would shoot me? Well, we didn't see them. Uh, we follow them now. My horse fast. Uh, no. No? Uh, we could catch them easily. But I don't want to because they're just working for someone else. Someone more important. Later on, Tano and I can follow their trail. And we'll see where it leads. Not right. You have two pack horses. Those are furs? Yes, white brother. I have fur trapper. Go toward Mountain City. Sell catch. There are two fur companies in Mountain City. The Great Western and the Webster. With whom do you trade? Hmm. I not like Webster Company. That's answer enough for me. You got only two pack horse. This all you trap all winter? No. Back in Mountain, I have cabin. Have more fur there. I have... Black fox fur. Black mm. fox? My pelts like that would be worth a fortune. Oh, that plenty good. You got black fox skin? I have three. Oh, you have plenty good hunting, my brother. Found to hope you... He's have... Who's that? It's back up the trail. A woman. That sounds like running fawn. My wife. What is wrong? Why you not stay back in cabin? Trouble, my husband. The pelts of the black fox. Gone. What? They're gone. All of them. Stolen. But that cannot be. You'll never find out about us standing here on the trail. Tonto. Uh huh. Go up on the ridge where we heard that blue jay screaming. Look around till you find the tracks of the men who attempted this ambush. Follow them. Uh huh. Tonto, do it. Get off, scout. The three of us, SK, you are heading straight back to your cabin. Come on, Silver. Power. Power. Steady, Silver. Hunter. Oh. Hunter. Uh. Here, cabin. Where were those furs kept? You come. I show you. Here, in corner, behind fireplace. I build cash for furs. So. You see, my husband? It's so. Pelts of black fox gone. Bert, can't you fee? We'll head into the back room, Burley. There's a gem there I'm aiming to see. Here, oh, oh, there, there. Oh. <coughs> Keener, the horses are hitched. Follow me. Well, what's eating you? Eh, nothing, Sorrel. Just looking along our back trail. For what? It's nighttime. You can't see nothing. I had a kind of funny feeling there was someone following oh, us. You're loco. We stepped away from that ridge as slick as you please. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah, come on, then. Honey. Come in. Close the door. What's the idea, Sorrel? I've been doing business with you alone. Who's this man? Howdy, Mr. Sedley. You know me. My name's Burley. Yeah. Oh, so that's it, huh? I kept asking Sorrel who he'd sell them furs to. He wouldn't say. I never figured the manager of the Webster Fur Company would be the gent who was paying Shut us to get Shut your mouth, Burley. I asked Sorrel a question. I haven't been answered yet. Well, I decided Burley might as well be around when I told you, Mr. Sedley. When you told me what? Come on, let's have it. Did you get those furs? No. No! Well, you fool, what went wrong? Well, I went up Would have been as easy as skinning a rabbit. I told you what trail Siskeyou would take in the mountain city, where you could shoot him, how to bring the furs to me, everything. Sure you did. But some hombre shot a gun just as Siskeyou came into sight. Before we had a chance to let fly, he cut back around the bend again. Those shots were a warning? Yeah. Who fired them? I don't know. Did he spot you? No, I don't reckon he even saw us. But there was a blue jay screaming right over our heads. And I guess this gent must have been smart enough to figure blue jays don't chatter just for nothing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Sedley. Well? Uh, me and Burley are mighty dry. And... Buy your own drinks. Well, if that's the way you feel about it... It is. You promised me some ready cash just for taking on this job. Guess again, Sorrel. I promised you cash for Siskeyou's furs. You didn't bring the furs, you don't get cash. I don't pay for failure. Why, you... Don't raise your voice to me, Sorrel. You're just mountain rats. I'm a respectable man. I can have you thrown into jail. Sedley, one more word out of your... Sorrel, Sedley. There's somebody looking in the window. What? I see him. Don't turn around. Don't reach for your guns. I've got one in this drawer. Keep watching me. I'll try to get him. Now, oh, quick, out the door. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. Yeah, you that horse? Who was it? I don't know. It was an engine. 
But I never saw him before. I've seen him before. His name is Tonto. His partner is the Lone Ranger. It's all right, Silver, old boy. A scout. Tonto's coming back to camp. Hi, Kimasabi. Been gone almost all night, Tonto. You didn't lose the trail? No. Tonto not lose trail. Now, what did you... Kimasabi, is that cut on your face? Were you shot? Uh, man shoot at Tonto. I me mean, not hurt bad. Only scratch from glass, not bullet. Glass? Uh, me look through window. See bad man. Good. Who were they? Oh, Tonto not know that. But Tonto know other man. There was another man there? Uh, it in back room of Bearcat Cafe. Man who talked to them shoot at me. His name, Sedley. Sedley. Uh. Manager of the Webster Fur Company. I knew it. Uh? I was sure of it, Tonto. Never mind now. I'll tell you later. Right now, we're riding. Here, yes, Silver. Uh, where we go? In your saddle, Tonto. Steady, big fella. Oh, oh Scott Walker. We're going to see John Maitland. He's marshal of Mountain City. He's going to put those two outlaws in jail and Sedley, too. Uh, get him up. Come on, on Silver. <laughs> What you say, Misty? Are you sure? Tonto saw them with Sedley, Maitland. From his description of those two hombres, they sound like Sorrell and Burley. And them talk with Sedley. Uh, it don't sort of stack up. Sedley's an important man in town. He's kept on the right side of the law. They acted friendly, huh? Ah. Too bad you didn't hear what they were saying. That'd be right good evidence. Maitland, there's no time to be lost. Sedley and those two outlaws are still at the Bearcat. You're the marshal. It's your duty to move right now. He no man's man. You made me marshal of this town, and you're the best friend I've got. I'm heading for the Bearcat. The town marshal. He's got his guns. I'm looking for Harry Sedley. Why, he's in the back room, marshal. In blazes, the back room. Sedley, what are you doing with that shooting iron? I'm glad you showed up, marshal. These two gents... I know them. Sorrell and Burley. What about them? Well, they're fur thieves. Two of them came in and told me they'd stolen furs from Siskeyou, the Indian trapper. Wanted me to buy them for the Webster Fur Company. I told them I would... all this scheme of snake dodging coyote tricks ever... Keep your hands up, Sorrell. Marshal, if we're guilty, so is Sedley. He offered to buy furs from us and told Sorrell where to steal them. <laughs> Don't laugh, Sedley. That's a serious charge. I think I'll put all three in jail. Now, now, hold your horses, Marshal. Those two are known to be bad hombres. I'm an honest man. Yeah? Yes. Why, by capturing these two men for you, I'm doing the law a favor. Sadly, I reckon you're right about these gents. While I'm not so sure about you, there's no way I can prove my suspicions. So for the time being, I'll let it stand. Sorrell, you and Burley start walking. I'm putting you behind bars. Admit me and Burley done a few things that's outside the law. But I tell you, it was silly you asked. Inside the cell. Yeah. You're making a mistake, Maitland. You'll find that out. I tell you, Sidley asked us to do it. You can't believe me. He got in touch with me. Marshal. What the? Who's that? I'll get a light. Never mind the light. You only brought two of them to jail. Who was missing? Oh, it's you, masked man. Who was missing? They were all there, like you said. Only Harry Sedley couldn't be jailed, mister. He was smart enough to disclaim having anything to do with Burley and Sorrell. Sedley's guilty. Uh, perhaps so, but I can't prove it. Maitland, I know he's guilty. Pretty soon I'll bring you the proof. Let's keep an eye on him. Tonto and I got back from the little trip. Master, mister, are you hit? The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When the shot was fired right outside the window of the marshal's office, a crowd gathered immediately in the dusty street. Did you hear that? Got another shot. Come on, doggone shooting going on tonight. All right, Chance, all right. You can all start drifting now. No more excitement. Are you hurt, Marshal? No, somebody fired through my window, but nobody's hurt. And nobody broke out of jail. I've still got those two hombres behind bars. Who could have fired at you, Maitland? I don't know. Where were you, Sedley? Me? I was down the street near the cafe. Anybody see you there? I don't reckon so. It's a pretty dark night. <laughs> you still don't trust me, Maitland? Forget it, Sedley. Someone in this crowd is a skulking coward. A gent who shoots in the dark. And whoever you are, I'll get you. Good, oh, right. good. Sure, sure. That's the way to talk, Maitland. That's why we elected your marshal. We? You had nothing to do with it. You voted against me. I realize my error now. Uh, by the way, uh, you had some company in your office? Hmm? I thought I heard a horse riding away. Just after the shot. Wait, it's odd. You were down at the other end of the main street. Oh, I mean, on my way here. Thought I heard the horses I approached. Did uh, you hear it? I heard nothing. I was inside the jailhouse. Mm, that's odd. I distinctly heard it. Thought I caught a glimpse of it, too. A big white horse. <laughs> This time, shot fired at you. Yes, Tonto. Said they missed you early last night. He missed me later. Perhaps he needs more practice with a six-gun. You say Sedley shoot at you? Yes, Tonto. You see him? No, Tonto. Marshal and I were inside the house in the dark. The shot came from outside. I'm taking it for granted it was Sedley. Ah, uh, him plenty bad. Bad and clever. As soon as he heard the marshal ask the bartender for him, he was smart and must to pull out his gun and capture Sorrell and Burley himself. Say that he was innocent. Why do you not run from jailhouse and get him when he shoot? In the middle of town with all the people running that way? Remember, Tano, I'm wearing a mask. Only Maitland knows who I am. Oh, uh, that's right. Those men all carry guns. They'd have seen my mask and taken it for granted that I was an outlaw. They started shooting at once. Uh, Tonto, not think of that. No, the marshal has to capture Sedley himself. He has to catch him with proof. Have you forgotten about those three black fox pelts, Tonto? Huh? Remember, they were stolen from Siskeyu's cabin. You mean you trail thief who steal pelts? Uh, Sedley steal pelts? I tried to follow the tracks, Tonto. But whoever took the skins cut across Bear Rock on Catamount Peak. I lost what? the trail. Uh, why you say Sedley steal pelts? I didn't say that, Tonto. It was you. Oh, that right. Me not savvy. They all mixed up. Wait till later, Tonto. First thing to do is head for the trail. Siskeyu's waiting in his cabin. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. Oh, oh. Oh. Morning, Siskeyu. Morning, Running Fawn. Mass men, you left here yesterday evening to find out who take pelts of Black Fox. What have you found Silence, out? Silence, Running Fawn. It's not proper, I ask, before we welcome our brothers according to what is correct. White brother, Tonto, we have food. You will eat? Not yet, Siskeyu. We know you're anxious to learn what's happened, then we can eat. Mm. The men who were on the ridge above the trail waiting to shoot you are now in jail. That good. They are ones who steal black fox? I followed that trail from this cabin up over Catamount Peak. The trail disappeared in the rocks. Oh, then you not find... Enough. Our white brother help us. Had he fail, not matter. Ah, uh, skins of black fox bring plenty cash. Heap cash. Yes, Tonto. If they gone, they gone. This you. You're a real warrior. I said I lost the trail, but I still think I know who has those skins. You know? With your help, I can get them back for you. Siskeyu, are you willing to send running fawn into Mountain City to sell the rest of your furs? Speak, white brother. Tell us what to do. It shall be done. What you coming back for this time, Maitland? Still too early for several... I'm letting you skunks out of jail. You what? Let us out. You heard me. Personally, I'd like to keep you under lock and key from now on in. But seeing as how this KU didn't come into town to prefer charges against you. Well, here are your guns. Go ahead, get out. Well, you sure will, Marshal. You leave Mountain City within 24 hours, Heavy. You're still here, I'll jail you for vagrancy. We sure got out of that mess easy, didn't we, Sir Al? so, Bully. We got a score to settle with Sedley first. That hombre has been acting too slick. 
If you think he's got me buffaloed, he'd better think twice. Turn us over the line. Don't about me, Sorrel. Well, I'll be... Reach for your guns. Don't be a local idiot, Sorrel. We're right out in the street in clear sight of everyone. No magic coyote could do what you did last night. I time. said don't be an idiot. I had to do that, Sorrel. Huh? I knew you'd be released today. You did? Well, of course, and you were. Now look at it sensibly. In my position, I can't afford to go to jail even for a day. Now, do you understand? Yeah, I reckon so. You sure are smart, said Lee. Where will you be? I may need you to. We won't be here. The boys, you gave us 24 hours to get out of town. Oh, no, he did, huh? Well, I may have to make a wagon trip to Portland. Suppose you head that way. Camp near the trail about five miles out of here. Watch for me. Kino said, Lee. Oh, if you're making a trip, why don't you start Stop out? asking so many fool questions. Will you be there or not? Yeah, yeah, sure, Mr. Sedley. Sure. All right, good. I've got some work to do. That's why I'm not leaving yet. Besides, I saw Running Fawn go into the Great Western Fur Company office with some furs. Running Fawn? Isn't that Siskeyou squaw? Yes, I... Uh, I want to talk to her when she comes out. Oh, you, just a minute. You've traded your furs here at Great Western? Yes. Why didn't you bring them to the Webster Company? Our prices are good. My husband say take furs to Great Western. Oh. Where is this Gayo? I go now. Now, hold on. Your news got around a couple of weeks ago that Siskeyou had trapped himself some black fox. Those are mighty valuable pelts. Siskeyou, he get pelts back very soon. Get the... What do you mean by that? Man who take pelts leave trail. Siskeyou follow. Left a trail, but... You let go. You hurt my arm. Well, how can he follow a trail when... I mean, suppose he loses a trail. Siskeyou not lose trail. He take gun. He take scalping knife. <laughs> Scalping knife. When he find man who steal fox furs, Siskeyo get them back. Take care of man his own way. Indian way. I, uh, excuse me, I just remember something I got to do. Now I go back to cabin. Tell Lone Ranger I do what he say. He must hurry. Air Marshal. Maitland, Maitland. Howdy, been looking for me? Yes, tell I went to Mountain City, but you'd left your office. I came out here to check on somebody's spring and beaver traps. What's it about? Siske, you had three black fox pelts. They were stolen. Yeah, the Great Western Fire told me about it. The engine squaw was in. So far, I haven't got a single solitary idea who could have done it. Unless it was Cyril and Burley. No, Maitland, they just worked for the thief. Hey, you say that like you knew who did it. I'm almost certain it was Harry Sedley. Sedley? Siske, you wanted to come along, but I was afraid he'd kill Sedley. That mustn't happen. Sedley must go to jail for his crime. Maitland, you're a marshal. Will you watch Sedley and then well, let me... it's no use. Sedley left town an hour ago. Uh -huh. Left town? What do you mean? Just what I said. Said he had to see Mr. Webster. He's heading for Portland. Heading for... Maitland, head back to Mountain City. Round up a posse and start after Sedley. Take the Portland Trail. Well, if you say so. I do. Keno, mister, that's enough for me. What about you? We're on our way right now. Come on, Toto. Get him on town. Look for us later, Maitland. Well, Silver! Get him, man. Come on, get him. Get him on, man. Right here, Sidney. We shall find hurry. You'll find out in just a moment, Sorrel. See that clump of spruce up ahead near Catamount Peak? What about it? Rain up just beyond it. I'll stop the wagon. Hear that, Burley? Yeah, I don't see anybody here. It's already more than 20 miles outside of Mountain City. Here him. we are. Rain up. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Take a look around the back trail of Mountain City. It's all clear. Don't see anybody. What's all the mystery about, Sidney? See that big rock yonder? About 20 feet off the trail? We ain't blind. Get off your horses. Come along, then. A couple of nights ago, I moved that rock. Fastened a rope around it and had the other end on my horse's saddle horn. This time, I reckon the three of us can lift it. What are you getting at? Is there something important under that rock? Suppose we lift it up and find out. Here, grab over here. Hey, there's something hidden under it. Looks like an old buffalo hide. Unroll the buffalo hide and you'll see. Here, I'll do it, Burley. I... Well, I'll be doggone. Black Fox. Liam, finest pelts I ever saw. Sedley. Well? So that's it. These skins belong to Siskeyou. They don't any longer. Now they're mine. You're a mighty slick hombre. You stole these while me and Burley was up on that ridge, didn't you? Yes, sir. All I said, Jacob Webster was the smartest fur trader in the Northwest. You're next. I work for him. Jacob Webster likes Black Fox pelts. They bring a fancy price. If they're not paid for, so much the better. 
Now, here's where you two fit in. <laughs> I was waiting for that. When we get to Portland, you'll get 500 cash apiece. Then you disappear, you understand? Yes, Savvy. In other words, you want everyone to think it was us who stole those furs, That's eh? it. Not that they'll ever be traced, but we'd like to be protected just in case. It's Jake with me, Mr. Sedley. Likewise. Good. Then back to the trail. We ought to reach Portland about You'll never now. reach Portland, Sedley. What? Who said that? I don't see anybody. All right, here. Look up. Up, does he? At the top of the ledge. The masked man, the Indian. Here they come. Now grab your gun. Shoot. Shoot him down. They're some us. Shoot. <laughs> Faster, men. There's a wagon right in the middle of the trail. It's standing idle. There's nobody in it. And I... Al, you men, listen. Yeah. That shooting stopped. That may mean... Get your guns ready. I don't like this. All right, All right. Right. Ain't you going to slow down, Marshal? No, it's off to the left someplace, beyond those fir trees. There's plenty of us here, just right in full tilt. Now, follow me. Oh, 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 oh. All ropes and tied and stretched out on the ground. Nobody else around any place. That wasn't me. It was Sedley. Sedley stole them first. <laughs> At least they're all alive. <laughs> all right, Burley. What's that you were saying? I said Please Sedley... jump and... Well, Maven, look at this. Black Fox pelts. Now, those were stolen from Siskel. Isn't that right, Sorrell? Yeah, Marshal. But me and Burley had nothing to do with it. Just get these ropes off and i ropes will come off when you got to jail. Well, Mr. Sedley, you haven't opened your mouth yet. How about it? You gonna try to deny it? I'm caught dead to rights, Marshal. No use bucking my head against a stone wall. I stole them. Who oh, hell up there? Don't beat everything. But hey, I don't savvy. Savvy what, eh? Well, we heard a lot of shooting, and when we get here, these hombres is all tied up like packs on a mule. Who did your job for you, Marshal? He knows who got us, don't you, Maitland? I reckon I do, Sedley. And so do you. It was the Lone Ranger. Oh! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>